Hey, a pleasant good day, ECHL fans. This is going to be a quick series review and analysis of the Rapid City Rush series that they, of course, took on the Allen Americans and were able to take them down four games to one, winning all three of the first games. Allen then took the fourth game, and Rapid City then closed it out on their home ice against the Allen Americans, who going in... Um, were actually the better team um, to some. Uh, th this was actually, I shouldn't say that, this was actually a really even series of the Rapid City Rush between the Out Americans on paper when you looked at both of the teams. It just never really came to be because if you look at Allen in the regular season, Allen coming into this playoffs was a team that was fairly mixed on offense and defense. They allowed 244 goals against the 240 scored, so they were not a very greatly balanced team they were good offensively but also not tight enough on the other end of the puck which was a problem and their power play was not effective but their penalty kill was lethal and then when you look at the uh, rapid city rush um in comparison as we pulled them up their regular season they had a 50 win percentage were a little bit better than the allen americans but were 241 goals to 232 goals against so they were better overall and more definitely leaning in one direction a little bit offensively compared to giving up the goals but they also want the sexiest team and not giving up goals so it's going to be interesting to see how the um, rush excel against some tougher tighter locked in opponents defensively than the allen americans going forward but in this series they were mighty fine their offense which carried them throughout the regular season was able to continue and have a fantastic uh, seasons like the Nelsons, the Gravels, the Butchers, the Cotas, the Chabots, Bayless's, Brooks Whalens, obviously, uh, even the Velatinis. Like, you were able to have these guys step up. But we'll get into it uh, game by game. The Allen Americans, though, they definitely, their offense all of a sudden just went dormant, which again was more of the carrying weight of their team as well because they want the tightest defensively, where they were able to score three in a few of these games, but then. Again, they went on the tightest defensively, and Rapid City's probably a better skating team than Allen in, in some of their lines aspects at very least, if you don't want to say overall, that that really helped out the rush in this series as well. When they took the first game of the series, 6-3, to three, where uh, Colton later was able to score Bayless, aforementioned Nelson, Shabbat, aforementioned Brooks, and Coda, so all the studs of that Rapid City rush team scored. Malari, McCauley, and Butcher really showed a lot of fight in that game, as well as the Joshua Winquist of the world coming from the Reading Rose. So I was actually cheering for, cheering for the Allen Americans in this series, but that's A-OK, -okay. Jose, it don't matter. It doesn't matter who I'm cheering for. It matters to analyze what happened. But um, they were able to get the goals in this one. But uh, the Rapid City rush was just too much for Allen Americans. And um, their goaltender, uh, Francis Morote, who really... Uh, wasn't fantastic overall in this series, but also couldn't do a hell of a lot when his team on some of the goals were hanging him out the dry. So it was kind of a mixed bag for him, I would say, where Lucas Parrick was then in counter making the saves that needed to be made. But Rapid City really won this game because their offense, like it did most of the regular season, was able to push them over the hump. And then in the second game, Allen couldn't get any offense really generated enough whatsoever as uh, they were able to get the shots on that, but I think the scoring chances uh, were probably better for Rapid City other than maybe in the second period. And um, they won that game 4-1 to one, where it wasn't really much of a contest. Uh, ben Carroll was able to score for Allen. Butcher was able to get an assist, so he was he's had a very good series. But you were able to get Brooks to score again. Um, the winning goal for Rapid City ended up becoming from Keegan Iverson, so that's it. That's getting depth scoring there. So that's obviously good to see Avery Pedersen scored, uh, and then Logan Nelson was able to score for Rapid City as well. So they got their best defense in this, but also Allen wasn't really able to draw a hell of a lot of the the best offensive chances. And when they did, uh, Rapid City was able to have Parrick. Uh, really step up in this game uh, where Pe where Perrosini played solid for Allen but again their defense isn't the best in front of the net minor is something you didn't expect to see in the series this was kind of a battle of more offensive strength team to not the best defensive team but Rapid City a wee bit better and that showed in this series as well as their offense being a wee bit better 
than the Allen Americans and actually a lot better in a lot of these games. As then in the third game, I'm not even going to recap all the goal scores because that's just, just taking too much time already at five minutes, but uh, recap the entire game of what happened. But Nelson was able to score Brooks. Nelson had two. Brooks had two. Helgeson was able to score. Uh, so that was great. And then Allen was only able to get it from uh, Ashleshock. Um, and there, Spencer Ashleshock, who... Um, is a depth scorer for them, so it was good to see that. But Allen's offense was dormant in the series. That was a strength of their team, not their defense, and it didn't show up. Their goaltending wasn't great either, but also you can't do a hell of a lot if your defense ain't playing great in front of you, as the great Samantha Wismer said on the Phantoms and Flyers podcast that I did today with her, if you want to check those out as well. But uh, this wasn't a great series from the Allen Americans whatsoever. A good overall season to get to the promised land of the Kelly Cup playoffs. So hats off to them for their season. And I'm going to do season recaps of all the ECHL teams as well. I just haven't got to that with all the hockey I've been covering overall for my channel. But good overall season for them. Just not a great end to it. A bad playoff series for the Allen Americans. As the only game they were able to show fight was, it was good to see them get a game though, I must say, was when McCauley, Costello, Carroll, <coughs> uh, Troke were able to score and they were able to battle and get to OT and have a great overall game in that game. That they were able to actually beat Parrick. Parasini had a good game as well. He really stepped up. Uh, he faced 63 damn shots. And uh, stepped up big time. That was one of the best goalie performances I've ever watched. Um, from Parasini. So you definitely got to give credit. Where credit is due there. But um, even in one of the best goalie performances I saw from Luke Parasini in the entire playoffs. It was in a series that that was the only win his team got. So great job by the kid Parazzini as he continues to look forward to the future as still a young kid to continue to grow as a goaltender as well only even playing 26 games this year and uh, 27 I believe it was in his entire career so he still has a lot of room to grow but hats off to him for having a hell of a game and being able to keep his team in it and not get swept but then they come out um, Rapid City and they beat the Allen Americans 3-2 uh, to two, uh, in that game uh, to seal the deal, as then they're able to win the series 4-1. to one. They get off to a great start. Allen didn't really have a chance after really much of a chance, it seemed like, after going down 2-0, um, let alone going down 3-0. And they did go down 3-0. At least they're able to scratch and claw to not get swept. But this is a hats off to Rapid City and their star players. Their star players stepped up. Their depth players were able to step up as well. And they were obviously able to get very good goaltending from a guy like Lucas Park, who's been fine all season. Their defense also just sometimes leaves a bit to be desired in front of them. So it'll be interesting to see what that lies ahead for a team like Rapid City when they play tighter defensive teams that tighten, that, that kind of hold them back a little bit more as an offense. But we'll have to see because the Allen Americans were not that team, but hell of a series. Definitely an A-plus series for Rapid City for sure, as this has been a analysis of the Rapid City Rush versus Allen American series that Rapid City was able to win 4-1. to one. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please and subscribe down below. Keep the channel growing to 250 or more by the beginning of June. We appreciate you guys' love and support. Thank you, guys, and enjoy the rest of the Kelly Cup playoffs if you are a Rapid City Rush fan and enjoy the offseason because it was a hell of a season for your Allen Americans. It just didn't end the way you wanted it to. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.